Hey friends, Ryan from MyKidCuresCancer.com and as you can tell by my disheveled appearance, I have, uh, I have failed just a little bit and allowed myself to become sick. Uh, it's it's nothing, nothing really bad, but I did wake up with a sore throat this morning. I really don't have time to be sick and that's why we are going to knock this thing out in one day. So the first thing that I am doing is, is not eating. It is, what time is it? It is 12.27 and I have not had a bite to eat. When your dog is not feeling well, the first thing that he will do, that you'll notice that he does, is stop eating. Why? Because it's, it's instinctual to him that he needs to be using his energy to, to get well, to mobilize whatever bodily function needs to be happening. And that's something instinctual for him, but we've kind of drilled that out of ourselves over the past however many years. And now being sick, we equate with staying home and eating all day, which uh, if, you're, if you're spending all that energy on digestion, you're not spending it on getting well. So I'm going to compress my eating into a very small time window today, with the exception of some targeted supplements that we'll be, uh, that we'll be doing here, and with the exception of water. Uh, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water today, and I'm going to be very intentional about it. And I'm going to start right now. Drink at least my body weight in ounces today. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's do one more. Woo! And ideally, you do want to probably be sipping water throughout the day, which I plan on doing as well, but I also just want to make sure it happens, so that's why I'm sure to slam a couple uh, big things of water like this periodically throughout the day. I'm gonna wait uh, 10, 15 minutes let this water make its way through my stomach, and then we're gonna take some supplements. The reason I don't take them right away is I want some, some good stomach acid in my stomach. I don't want them just to drown in the water that I just chugged. While we're waiting to take those supplements, I thought it would be a good idea to bust out the Biomat. So the Biomat is the same principle as an infrared sauna, but it is beaming the infrared rays out of this mat device here. It makes for a little more uh, convenient access for the sauna than the sauna would. Uh, that's why we use it for traveling a lot and also just sitting around. Alright dude. It's gonna get real hot. Ryder has requested that he take he uses the biomat when he takes his nap. So we're gonna we're gonna give this to him while he takes his nap. But right now. It's daddy's time on the biomat. We have here vitamin E. I stole some of Ryder's Empower. It's a, uh, it's a AHCC, it's a special type of, uh, of medicinal mushroom supplement. We got Thorn, vitamin D slash K2. And this Umpka is a, uh, an herbal extract. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, you want, Ryder likes the Umpka too. And it's been, I don't know, it's just been shown to reduce cold duration, so we always have that. Um, <laughs> Alright, if I give you the Umka, will you, will you calm down? Here, there's the Umka. Alright, there you go. Since vitamin D and vitamin E are both fat-soluble vitamins that empower you're supposed to take with, with some sort of food, I am going to help myself Big scoop of palm oil. Alright, you want some palm oil? Ryder loves the palm oil too, and we love that Ryder loves the palm oil because it's very high in beta carotene, which has been shown to kill neuroblastoma stem cells, hasn't it, bud? Okay, the vitamin C megadose. So if you have read my article about high dose vitamin C for cancer, one of the interesting topics that I touch on in there is this strategy of vitamin C to bowel tolerance, which means take as much vitamin C as you can until you have an emergency, more or less. And that's, that's how you know your therapeutic level of vitamin C is. Here bud, what's going on? For the vitamin C here, uh, you know, we're, we're obviously big fans of whole food forms of whatever we can get, but if you're trying to do a mega dose of a vitamin C or a mega dose of any vitamin really, that would be pretty cost prohibitive. 
So what I have here is the best of both worlds, 100% organic camo camo powder. We got from Natural News, big bag of it, and I spent the last 20 minutes or so making all of these capsules that I can take. And then for this uh, ascorbate extract product, like the sea salts, for a variety of reasons, non-GMO, and it's got, it's got a few different forms in there. Let's do 30,000 milligrams, what do you think? And by the way, since the vitamin C is water soluble, there's no chance of an overdose or anything like that. You just pee out whatever you didn't need. All right, this is always fun. You know, when you get those uh, emergency packs of vitamin C, it's, not, it's nothing special to do with those emergency packs. This is just what happens when you put ascorbate in water. It might take a minute to fizz. All right, so with the whole food, Camu Camu, together with the, uh, the ascorbate, that was probably a good 40,000 milligrams of vitamin C. So we'll give that a few minutes and see what happens. All right, so I have here a few more E's, a few more Empowers. Let's shoot those bad boys down. Take some more D, another 15 drops or so. What the heck? One more round of the Upkas. Finish it off with another scoop of palm oil and we're good for that round. Immune support tea, don't mind if I do. There we go. Oh, and I'll probably throw a little bit of raw honey in there as well for uh, antibacterial healing properties. So it turns out that 30 to 40,000 milligrams of vitamin C was just plenty to, uh, to attain bowel tolerance. We might do a little less this time, maybe, uh, maybe 20 or so. are going to finish the night off with a nice long infrared sauna session. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you again in the morning and we'll see how we feel. Night guys. Alright, it's the next day and while I won't say I'm 100%, I feel a good 90-95%. The sore throat is gone, I'm not really stuffy, and I feel pretty good all in all. So you get for getting after it I guess. I'm lucky it was a weekend and I could just, just sit back and, and uh, focus on I'm getting better and it, it paid off.